<sighs> I just woke up, looked in the mirror, and realized I've gotten taller. I went from 5'4 to 6'8. I could hear the NBA calling me already. Pulled out my phone and saw my bank account. Shit was booming. Walked my room like, oopsie. <laughs> I dropped my wallet again. After all that, I got a message notification from Ruby Rose and Zoe Kravitz pleading for me to respond back. Like, ladies, please, there's only one of me. Please, 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 please. Also, um, it's my birthday, so I want everyone to sing happy birthday to me. Uh, I'll be waiting. Okay, you guys done singing? Well, all that was a lie. Besides Ruby Rose texting me, I'm actually her certified side nigga secret type shit. Certified side nigga secret. Mount Rushmore. A mount with faces of the greatest white niggas in history. I think. I don't know. I didn't pay attention in history class. Whenever I was in US history class, I only saw it as white niggas highlight reel. I've been seeing there's a lot of capping happening recently, and not just your regular capping, some outright blatant capping from big name people. Lies so crazy, they gotta be on the Mount Rushmore of cappers. The first one that comes to mind, some people call him La Goat, La Mid, La Mickey, La God, La Mom, I forgot to take out the trash yesterday, please don't take away my PS5. Three weeks later. La Flopper, La Kid from Akon, La Not Better Than Jordan, La Fraud. I'm talking about LeBron James, nigga. Before we get into LeBron's cap and behavior, I just gotta say, LeBron is the most confusing, funniest celebrity ever. Like, look at this nigga's old Insta post. LeBron is the most situational liar I've ever seen. You ever been in a situation where someone asks you something, and you kinda just lie about it? Because it's not that big of a deal. And they hit you with that follow-up question that you weren't even expecting, and you looking at her like this. That's deadass LeBron. They hit that nigga with, oh, <laughs> so you reading that Malcolm X book? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Not thinking they're gonna ask him what his biggest takeaway was from the book, knowing damn well he only on page 5. The way he went about answering that question is mad funny too. He answered that shit the same way I write an essay to reach the word limit. I know damn well he didn't read that book, because how is he always on the first page of these books he's reading? What's worse, they got Brown in the highlight reel of all his lies. How is that even possible? They got him in 4K multiple times. How did they get you in 4K? That ain't me. Got to like 70. I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. So, I mean, I know you wouldn't lie like this to China LeBron. I don't know which lie was funnier. The one where he said Kobe was going to score 81 that game, or the one where he said he knew the Migos were going to be big in 2010. It definitely got to be the Kobe one, in my opinion. Look at the way he's lying on the fly. I said he was going to, before the game even started, when I seen, uh, I said he was probably going to score 70 tonight. I don't, I don't know what made me say that. And <laughs> I'm not surprised by all these lies, though. LeBron's an Oscar-winning actor. <laughs> Look at his flops, bro. <laughs> Even though LeBron may be a liar and I want to hate on him like I'm Skip Bayless, I simply can't because he's a go and I can't hate on greatness when I see it. You may call it dick riding, I call it appreciating greatness. <coughs> oh my, something's in my throat. These next Mount Rushmore liars don't make me giggle like LeBron lies. They be getting me tight. Next on the all-time cappers, any modern-day rapper. Uh, editing me. Uh, <laughs> funny, haha. Editing me. This isn't is me editing. Um, before we get into this next guy, I was, uh, um, I was like, no, there's no way Kanye will do anything worse. And, you know, he, he, he definitely did. So I feel like this next part was kind of like deaf tone. Deaf, deaf tone. That's a band. Um, tone deaf in a sense. So, so I just want to put this cause you know, it feels, it feels kind of weird. And um, just imagine I'm saying your favorite artist's name, like, you know, Blade made graduation, you know, just what Kendrick Lamar made graduation. <laughs> Modern day rappers will be like, guys, my album is dropping February 7th, 2023. Be on the lookout. Be having niggas hype and everything. February 7th comes along and radio silence. Nothing, not a oh shit my bad guys ever got, <laughs> or a delay, or it being cancelled, you just gotta accept it. The first rapper that comes to mind with these lies is Kanye. Kanye's lies about his music be having me sick. Where is Yandi Kanye? You tweeted 9-29-18. Now I know Yandi is technically Jesus is King, but it's not 100% Yandi. Jesus is King is a cool album cause you know, whatever Kanye like, I like. Besides whatever the fuck he doing right now. Yeah, there's some songs like The Storm that's on Jesus King, even though he got rid of X part. Shit still kills me to this day. And yes, songs like Hurricane were eventually on Donda. But nigga, the best song on Yandi, City in the Sky, is still just a leak. Every time I hear this song, I just start floating. Yeah, 
sky. On the other hand, you got the whole opium brand, just filled with professional music releasing cappers. Ken Carson, but guys, my album is dropping. <laughs> Get lit and nothing happens. Nothing drops. Wait, huh, huh? You telling me Ken dropped his album and a deluxe? And Destroyed only did the same shit too? Oh, and Homicide Gang dropped an album too? Well, I guess, I guess just a liar. This nigga Cardi is sick, because we already know he lies about when his album drops. But what really gets it for me is he'll tweet some shit like this and just not delete it, not follow up on it, not a single explanation, and just keep pushing. Talking about some fuck the sample clearances, drop narcissists. Like, what? <laughs> what was the reason? What was the purpose for this? Don't worry, guys. 1629 next week. You know, even though the last two people I just brought up are pretty infamous about their music dropping, I think this next person gets me more tight. Pierre Bourne. Pierre is so fire. I fuck with his music heavy. That's that real music, man. Come back home. But he is worse than Hitler. Pierre will go on Instagram live, preview some music, music that hasn't been leaked or ever heard, just straight vaulted songs. He will play the song on live, everyone fucking with it, you know, going crazy in the comments, and then he'll finish it. He will look in the camera, smile and say <laughs> y'all ain't never getting this shit and just start laughing fuck you me we ain't never getting this you might as well stick to the beats nigga i guess technically he not a capper and he be honest but why even show us the song in the first place coaches be doing the same shit too As, yeah that song never coming out anyways like why why do music artists gatekeep their good work the next person on this mount rushmore of cappers is the worst he isn't haha -ha, funny LeBron captain. He isn't lying about his music, just straight capping. Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is the most delusional liar I've ever seen. He reminds me of that friend that should be lying about the most absurd shit and you know he lying too. Now you may be saying, why isn't he just grouped up with the modern day rappers? Well, first of all, who the fuck is listening to Kevin Gates in 2022? Unless you're a woman in your 30s, I know you lying. If I see one person say they listen to Kevin Gates in the comments, I'm doing you like this. Yeah. <laughs> Cause every time I see him performing at a concert, it's always him just talking sexually to the crowd. Like, bro, I thought he was gonna perform two phones, not do this. Second of all, his lies are not music related at all. For one, he said he started a car battery with his own hands. She said, we need jumper cables. I say, no, you don't. I put my hands on a, on a battery. I got this little thing that I do. I told her, give me the keys. I jumped in there and cranked the car. She said, you my angel. I say, speak nothing of this. Now, Mr. Gates, I don't know you, but from one liar to another, you capping. Kevin Gates is the type of guy to be like, you know, I actually fought a bear. <laughs> and I beat that nigga's ass. And he would believe that shit too, being like, yeah, this is the mark from the bear. I'm scarred up. Like, nigga, that is a birthmark. Every time he says some outrageous lie, he always puts it on his kids. And not some regular on my mama shit. He says as if he wants them dead immediately. You did not please start no car battery with your bare hands. If I did, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please, yeah. kill him today. Right now, today. Every time this man is interviewed, he be avoiding the question and just saying the funniest outrageous shit ever. Dang, bro. How you get skinny so fast? I need some tips. Really did it for me. I had my shirt off and I was holding my partner, baby and his baby tried to suck my bricks. Sometimes I want to believe what he says, but I just can't tell with this nigga. Cause look how he dresses. Cause why does he always wear this feather in his head? And why does he wear these tight ass jeans, my brother? You don't have the build for that. Look at the way he poses. I know he gotta be lying. What is this Jojo ass dance? He look like he about to hit me with that rock, papers, scissors. <laughs> Kevin Gates, Meek Mill, and Fabio Foreign need to be in a special nigga the Olympics. Someone needs to lock them up in a room together and just see what happens to them after a month. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm not even talking about him lying anymore. Even though I'm a certified hater, I'm hating hard like how luck used to hate Mexicans. I love you, Mr. Gates. I always do your famous moves. I'm lying. Last time I did that shit in my room, I busted in my ass. Uh, actually, uh, new x is gonna clown me on this video. <laughs> Uh, but you should definitely, uh, subscribe. Uh, he's next up. <laughs> Yo, why am I making him sound like Obama? What the fuck?